Greetings and salutations, DZP fans. It's your old buddy Hawk Boy, and we are doing another reaction video today. It is time for the fifth episode of DZP Backyard Wrestling. Uh, and uh, this episode is The Boss is Back? Question mark. I don't know. Anyhow, um, oh, hey, I got a little update, everybody. Uh, in the last episode, uh, I was speculum, speculating um, as to how many episodes we had left. And I've been told that there are two more episodes before the big se series or season one story arc. So looking forward to it. Make sure you stay tuned. It's getting pretty intense and uh, certainly love watching a plan come together, as uh, my old buddy Hannibal from the A-Team used to say. All right, enough of me lily labyrinth and gabbering. Let's, boy, I smoked a lot of weed tonight, so this might get a little silly. All right, let's 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 go for it. Uh, I'm gonna going to hit play. Of course, this is on the Misfits cartoon studio page okay Make sure you check you it get out. the new ring i asked for with all the glitter and unicorns yes we did eh i had to get my cousin flanoa here to help me with all the uh <laughs> you know girly stuff so that character there is uh, uh loosely based on a friend of mine named matt matt if you're watching this uh, it, it's not an insult, uh, and it's, uh, one of those, like, similar, not real persons kind of disclaimers. Anyhow, it, I don't think he'd be that mad, uh, uh, but, uh, I originally made this one, uh, to try when I was working with him on some, uh, projects that we tentatively called Purple Monkey Dishwasher. Uh, look it up if you want, it's in the archives. I have got a message to inform you, your father is coming. What? Daddy's coming here? You two idiots! Put the ring back to normal! Now! That's a, that's a new reel, by the way. I like it. It's epic. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. It looks like T-Rex has just been run down in the parking lot. Oh man, that was a hit and run, kink. I didn't see last uh, last episode. Some uh, intense backstabbery was involved, and uh, uh, I, uh, I, as I recall, T-Rex was part of that shit. Man, uh, what is it? Uh, it's like eating at that new restaurant, Karma. Uh, they don't give you a menu. You just get what you deserve. Welcome to DCPW Declan. Wrestling. I'm Kate Murdoch here with St. Valentine. Oh, yeah. Let's just action. get right to the action. In the ring is Brick versus Carrot Bottom. All right, yeah, Brick. Geek, but every time anybody tries to fight Brick, no way to do uh, it. Roger the, the zombie. And Roger the pervert there is the ref. And of course, Valentine. So yeah, it's just just fucking hilarious. Uh, Valentine changes so much in every episode. I love it. And uh, and carrot, uh, carrot crusher. Well, carrot bomb just tried to hit with a glove on. Bottom. And yeah, Brick just shrugged it off like it was nothing. Uh, carrot bottom goes for a drop kick and no, no, Brick just yeah, nothing hurting this thing. He's undead. Well, it's time for a commercial break. Maybe carrot bomb will have an idea by then. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Should that be against the rules, having zombies wrestle? Because they can't feel any pain, so I guess they could just take a, a, a hell of a lot of abuse. Although, they have a major disadvantage, obviously, in that, uh, you know, zombies are big, rotting piles of shit. All right, let's keep going. Greetings, mortals. I am DCPW Wrestle Beelzebub. 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 Be
<clears throat> keep it together. Last uh, last episode, I threw up a little. All right. Um. Whoa. Uh, I was gonna make a comment about the taco health because I love tacos and I would really like a taco right now. But now that I look at the next scene, I'm not so hungry. All right, we're back, and as you can see, this has happened. Oh yeah, this is why zombies like shouldn't wrestle. Of, uh, yep. Care about him. Yep. This is exactly why zombies shouldn't wrestle. He won't be returning like next episode, King. guys. Sorry. Hey, Misfit. King here. Oh, fuck. What do you want? Hey. Nice quick look around the room because every time this room changes a little bit, we got a, a Big Money Darby t-shirt in the background. We got uh, Angry Andrew, I believe is his name, the apocalyptic guy on the green t-shirt in the back there. We got our Canadian flags. I love how Canadian flags get worked into everything. Our buddy, uh, Misfit, the Misfit, uh, the uh, prime uh, director and uh, showrunner of this uh, of this uh, production, uh, always remembers to tip his hat to us, uh, us Canadian, the Canadian half of the company. Anyhow, um, and of course, interview bot, and uh, that changed. I was very familiar. I think I saw that in a couple episodes ago. Uh, put it down in the comments. Who wielded that chainsaw a couple episodes ago? Did you go back and freeze frame it? Because it was intense and suspenseful. Hey, we Let's just want going. you to watch this real quick video. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was like T-Rex is a <laughs> burger joy truck. So, oh, oh, that that's unfortunate. Oh, you really think that's a fortunate misfit? Yeah, yeah. Because we think you might have something to do with that. What? No. No, wait. <laughs> see, if you pause it right here, you can see that's not me. That is award-winning actor Ryan Reynolds. Uh oh, now, yay, Ryan. Don't ask me what he has to do with any of this. Ryan Reynolds is a Canadian treasure. All hail Ryan Reynolds. I love you, Ryan. Phone me. But I don't question the guy, and you should either. <laughs> huh? the fuck you guys doing here? Get the fuck out of my dressing room. <laughs> Big Money Darby says we're here to kick your ass for what you did to T-Rex. Listen here, motherfucker. I already explained that wasn't me. <laughs> no, it wasn't, Darby. It was Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> yes, it was, Darby. You know what? I uh, The one thing about the story arcs is uh, we don't get as much awesome back and forth between Darby and Misfit because they're kind of doing their, their, their own things on either side. Uh, but... Man, they are the best when they're together. Uh, check out the uh, the Misfit Goes to Hell movie and uh, and the You Are Here, the, the conversations that Misfit and Darby initiate and, and, and the rapport is amazing. I guess it's because Darby is such a great actor and he uh, he carries it. So that's 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 kind of what the lawyers have instructed me to say. Okay, let's Darby, keep going. I don't know why Ryan Reynolds would want to do that. Talk to him, not me. Back to you, Victor. I ain't done with you. I'm not happy with my disqualification win last week. I still want a piece of you. Tonight, no hose bars. Me and you. Barbed wire I'm match, bitch. Heavy, I'm Yo, be my pleasure and whip your ass, you hot topic reject. <coughs> yeah, but Big Bunny Darby's right. We got plans tonight, so you're going to have to wait, bitch. And here comes Task Collector Terry down to the ring. <laughs> now he is Big Terry. Money Darby's. Yeah, I, uh, I think the, he's kind of loosely based uh, on, what was his name, IRS, or er, Erwin er, Schwab, or, nah, I can't remember, loosely, loosely, uh, we wanted uh, nothing uh, more uh, insane than a tax collector, here in Canada, it's called the Revenue, uh, P Revenue Canada, it's not the IRS, okay, let's keep going. Last chance in this tournament, and oh my god, King, someone dropped the piano on his head. Yes, St. Valentine, oh, somebody my. dropped the piano on his head. And it looks like the referee is calling this match, and Freddy Frog oh, Face Bubba. is your winner. That's our referee, Bubba. That is the uh, the brother of Firebush. Anyhow. Oh, and the frog. You know what? This frog, uh, we all hated him so much when he first showed up on the scene. But he's like, he's growing on us like a fungus, you know? A very simplistic character that I created, and uh, um, if you haven't seen it before, make sure you watch Hell Comes to Frogtown. He advances in the tournament. It's kind of like Planet of the Apes for frogs. I based this guy off of a Hell Comes to Frogtown kind of scenario. What 
Well, Mr. Nat, all natural. Yo, man, do you see a naked guy run? Hold it. We gotta stop here for a second and appreciate the concession stand. We got some taco hell, some heavenly chick, and uh, and popcorn. There you go. I wish I. No, I can't zoom in on there. There's some pretty cool stuff. We got we got a lot of no name brand. Good job, Misfit. We've been working really hard on making sure we don't uh, tread on no IPs, and we've been doing really good lately. Um, Oh, let's see. We got Apocalypse Andrew and our furry guy. And uh, let's let's keep watching. Sorry for pausing. I'm just, like I said, I'm excited. It was at that moment where a furry dropped his tray of food on my boots and got ketchup all over my pants. I will have my revenge. I am Angry Andrew. We see Victor in the locker room area. Was that let's there? see what he's up. Was that narration or was that monologue? Could have been either one. I think, I, you know, I, I think uh, however I see that would change how I perceive it. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, he's Always a in a hot tub. Truck. He's probably just ordering food. Always a different hot tub. Yeah, you never know what Big Money Darby's crew with St. Valentine. You never know. All right, this all looks good to me. You made Big Money Darby a very happy puppy. Trust me, you uh -oh. want Big Monday Darby to be a happy puppy. Uh, and we're uh, about uh. to start this tournament match, but we've been interrupted by Victor for some reason. Yo, before this <laughs> match starts. Victor is in another hot tub. It's my honor to introduce the new owner of Burger Joint. Yeah, that's right. Give it up for Big Money Darby. Woof, 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 Wait a minute, kink. If Big Money Darby now owns Burger Joint, doesn't that mean he also... Yes, that's right, St. Valentine. He also owns Burger Man's contract. But I don't want to work for him. All right. Yes, sir, Mr. Darby. Burger Man wins. What? No, I didn't want to win like <laughs> this. I wanted to win by actually defeating my opponent and telling people that Chester meals are only nine ninety nine. And of course, that's... Well, uh... As the other guys, the germaphobe is a lot of fun. I really liked how he squirted uh, sanitizer in uh, his opponent's face a couple episodes back. Hey, it's the Preacher Man in the audience. Preacher Man is a character uh, from uh, uh, um, the uh, DZP. Uh, no, it's from You Are Here. It's from You Are Here. Pretty cool. All right, uh, let's keep going. Well, it looks like Big Money Darby found another way to have one of his guys be in the tournament. Let's see how this unfolds. All right, you idiots. Here comes Daddy. Be on your best fucking behavior. I think Hi, Dad. You're boss, Richmond. <laughs> you are my child. Since I left, everything here has gone wild. You have no idea what you are doing, stupid girl. Watching last week's show made me want to hurl. You are in way over your head, my dear. I can see that you are shaking with fear. I'm sorry, princess. It's time for you to go. And let Big Money Darby run the show. <laughs> So this show has been getting progressively, <clears throat> progressively more disturbing, and uh, and I like it. Yeah, he's uh, that uh, looks a lot like Charles Winston wearing the boss's face over his face. So Lord knows if the boss is still alive out there somewhere, if he's tied up in a basement without a face. I guess we're gonna have to watch the next episode to find out, everybody. Oh my God! How fucking stupid do you think I am? You think just because you cut off my father's face away and I'm going to think you're my dad? You know, that fucking chihuahua is in so much <laughs> trouble next week. And on that disturbing note, we are done for this week. Let's uh, take a moment to pause and appreciate where we're going to be. Uh, it's going to be Misfit versus the the Frogman guy. And, uh, and uh, the Burger guy. Burger guy lost. And Mike. No, oh, oh, I know the germaphobe loss, sorry. Uh, and uh, Mountie Mike. Mountie Mike is one of my favorites. 
Uh, I think it's going to be exciting to see how this all goes. Uh, put your money down in the comments below, everybody. Hit like and subscribe as well while you're at it and hitting buttons and stuff. And don't forget that bell because, you know, you don't get notice if you don't get the bell. Uh, also, go over to the Misfit Cartoon Studio page and do the same over there. You find all kinds of crazy behind-the-scenes stuff, especially starring the Misfit. And uh, you can catch a lot of cool stuff over on our page, too. So, you know. Hit it up, man. Share the love. But okay, let's next keep going, week, I'm out of the time. semifinals of the tournament, we have Misfit versus Freddy Frogface and Freddy Frog Burger Face. Man versus Mountie Mike. Who will win? Who will advance? And who is going to be our new champion? We'll be one step closer next week. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. This is the proudest day in Canada. We don't have time for that. Good night, everybody. <laughs> So they also seem to be in a hurry. All right. I really didn't want to come to this, but, you know, desperate times and all. If you like and subscribe, Darby will fall into a vat full of fluffy Thaddeus and Odin uh, plushies. If you don't, vat of acid. It's your choice. Don't worry, Darby. You'll be fine. People love you. Okay, so for the record, that was one of the best like and subscribe uh, pushes I've ever seen. I love. I never get tired of seeing that one. And uh, there's something. There's an intrusion on my logo again. It's the uh, the uh, the misfit uh, uh, puppet. We don't see him too often. He's pretty cool though. Easy P animation. Watch us, can and watch us. Well, there you go, everybody. That is episode five. So there's two more to go. And make sure you tune in and make sure you uh, do all that stuff I talked about. About, like, I don't know, was it three or four times this video? Got to remind you all, hit like and subscribe. We'd sure like to uh, to see some growth here. Uh, we're making this stuff because we love it, but we'd like uh, we'd like to share it with you. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you, if you have somebody who's into some weird animation, hit share. Okay, everybody, I think that's about all I have to say. I'm very excited to see where we go next. I am super, super happy with uh, how this series is going. So I hope you guys join me on this adventure. Hit some comments down below. Tell me who your favorite uh, fights were tonight. Uh, and uh, tell me what you think. All right. Uh, toodles, everyone. <laughs>